Hello and welcome to Patched, I'm your host Paul James and today I'm joined by Matto Phillips and Damo Camilleri. Hoorah! And we're going back to the well on this kind of designing series that we've we've done, I don't know, two or three of these over the journey. It's been like so 40, far. you've just missed them all. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I, I wasn't allowed on those shows. Um, and this week we're kind of casting our eye towards Cyberpunk 2077, which got its kind of full reveal at E3 2018. Uh, those who were in attendance and had a specific media pass or teed up an interview or whatever were allowed to go and see some gameplay. The rest of us haven't seen that. Um, so that still hasn't been revealed. Hey, for the rest of us, we we haven't just seen get a trailer. It. Yeah, we just, we got the trailer, which was awesome. There's two trailers currently available, and then the behind-the-scenes gameplay, which was revealed a while back. <laughs> but um, I'm missing something there. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, oh, trailer open. in the corner here. Yeah. You'll probably see the same couple of trailers over and over since we've only got two to work with. Um, just so we're gonna, them yeah, mirror them. And we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> work out that actually when you play them backwards they're the same thing. <laughs> um, so in this episode we're going to kind of discuss Cyberpunk 2077, what we think it might be. 2017. Um, 2017, <laughs> how things have progressed now that we're in 2018. Um, yeah, what we think it could be, the way it'll play, maybe a little bit of story sort of stuff. Whoa. Based on what we think, what little we know, blah 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 blah. Where do we think we should start? There was one thing that you said before in terms of the protagonist. Is it? Oh, it's just going to be future Geralt. Oh, okay. Future Geralt. Oh, no, actually, it's, it's a customizable player, isn't it? I think you can create your own, but it's also a first... I mean, we'll talk first more about person, it when yeah. it comes to mechanics, but it's a first-person game. So, I guess, similar to Fallout, I guess. Probably Fallout's probably the closest thing, because I'd imagine you're waving around guns and all that sort of stuff, so Fallout's probably the closest to the mark. Given it's an RPG, but still first person, I, I instantly think Fallout in terms of the way you play. Mm. You can't go third person in Fallout, <coughs> can you? Oh, maybe you can. I can't remember Fallout. I've never tried. You can. I don't know if you could do it with four. I know you can do it with Elder Scrolls and stuff. But you can do it with four as well. <coughs> can you? Pretty sure. Oh, God damn. This changes everything. No, I, no? I don't like first person. I don't like, you know, shoot em ups when you're. When you're third person like that, like <clears throat> the game, if a game style has first person and third person, and you're shooting, normally you you're kind of going like Skyrim was different because like you know sword and shield you can kind of thing fling your spells whatever, but like you know when you're arch when you're doing archery you're not sitting there third no one's doing third person archery yeah like you know what I mean yeah I, I think most most people got the choice they probably go first but yeah um. You were talking about like silent protagonists. No, sorry, not silent protagonists. Amnesia, um, amnesia and all that, the old, the old tropes. It could be silent. Well, it really depends if it's only all in first person. It's like you know, like Far Cry. They did with three, and it was just rubbish. And then in four, oh took yeah, because there's no emotion. I don't know. The Far Cry was pretty awesome. Vast, yeah. and then Pagan Min, and all that, and whatever the guy was in Far Cry Five. I've forgotten his name. I didn't play enough of it. call him Steve. Gary. Gary. Gaz. 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 Nice, Gary. Um, so, so, and I think my, my thought of looking at the trailer is not that that gives away anything, but I kind of had the the thought that there would be like that Grand Theft Auto system of three oh, characters cool. that you can edit, though, at the same time. So you got your three main people that you can switch between, so the stories are all... So, so they're all different like, background stories here. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, I'm guessing this game's going to be massive, and... Well, we know, we know how much do. they were able to do with... Um, we know how much they were able to do with, like, something like Grand Theft Auto, and we've seen, you know, expansive universes from Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. And um, Andromeda's fine. <laughs> Fine, it is. It's you can play it. It's not one, two, three, but it's it's still good. Yeah, um, we, we discussed that. In a, yeah, we've done that in the past before. But um, no, I just I think that yeah, if your character base is going to be like that, uh, especially if you're doing something cyberpunk, then it definitely has to be that element of character creation. Like everyone's got their own idea of what like a badass cyberpunk dude looks like. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure. Well, and I'll like, be interested to see how it plays out because, like with um. Deus Ex, and that's probably the one I'm most comparing it to because uh, Deus Ex, like the more recent ones, they didn't, you know, that first first person and all that kind of goes with that, and it's still got the stealth and RPG systems and all that sort of stuff. But um, 
when it talks, we're talking about your character customization bit. Like one of the things that I can, I know you can do mechanically is like, oh, you need this new skill and it's mapped to, you know, you can see through walls or something. Well, then you get this eye augmentation. You yanks out your eye and puts in a new one. Blah blah blah. Delicious. So I'm wondering, like, as in you've already probably got a mechanical one or whatever. I don't know, but um, like, you know, just pull yeah, bits no. and pieces, which means you can just replace your whole scalp if you want. Not look, there's new hair or just replace. You. Just yeah. peel your cheeks off. Boom, and now you're. Oh, I kind of hope that's not a thing. I, I just fear that's probably the like, extension to that. Yeah, off. yeah. I like. I don't mind it, but I just like. It's kind of like when you, when you know Monster Hunter. Like you've got layered gear now, so yeah. you, you know it's like wow, that those arms look like absolute shit. Don't worry, just change them to like that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I hope if if you think I hope it's implants, and you know, maybe. Like, you like know, the big trend in society, like, calf implants. <laughs> well, you know, like I hope it's gotta get like, that definition. You know, they do the whole body thing, standing there, and it's like, hey, you know, you want better lock picking skills, or like, you know, then cool. Then like, yeah, fingers have been upgraded for yeah. more thing. But now you've, you know, you you want for, like taser f- hands or something like that, or thing. So it's just like, yeah, replace whatever's inside. Sweet. The outside's yeah. not being affected. Or like, do like the, what, the Matrix where they just add in a program and just load it up. Yeah, that'd be kind of like cool. USB. Jack, you're the Matrix. The USB. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's only a 32 megabyte one. What is what? this? 1999? <laughs> <laughs> How much did you pay for it back then? <laughs> what is $700. <laughs> Damn it, man! <laughs> what is this giant port? <laughs> What is this? But it's universal. <laughs> Wait, just let me Did plug you? it in. <laughs> just Damn. it can only go two ways, mate. I know, believe me. But both aren't working. <laughs> um, no, I figured like yeah, that character customization stuff that might just be the logical extension to what they're already doing. With Fair you can enough. change your eyes to do this, you can change your uh, your arms to do that. So yeah. maybe you can do it cosmetically as well. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe it even fits into like. Because um, I'm sure there's probably a stealth component there. Maybe you can totally change your appearance if you need to. Like you've, everyone knows you for this face that you've got. So you're like, sweet, I'll change that up. And you just change your skin color. You face change your head. Like you just rip everything be. apart. And, like that'd be kind of cool. Eye hacking would be cool. <clears throat> yeah. Like, I mean, because the cool thing is now, like, the point we're at is like. You think if we were back in the 70s, you know, Star Trek was, you know, laying way to crazy things that were going on in the world. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we have iPhones thanks to, uh, thanks to Star Trek. It's like, we actually, thanks to the military, but regardless. Um, and Steve Jobs. <laughs> Steve Jobs. But we're now at this point where there's been so much, like, there's been video games, there's been movies, there's been uh, anime, books, ev- everything. There's so much more media now that they can draw off to like heighten things and I think they're taking I think they really are taking chunks from everything into this yeah to Even make side punk the, itself was a I think it's a tabletop game or something like that like oh yeah, the it's game like, is based on well, side punk something I don't yeah well there's there, there's, there's like B, there. there's like cyberpunk and then with the steampunk like you know I want to see that I want to see steampunk 17 77 or 1877 or whatever 1886 <laughs> the order give me a sequel we'll talk about that in another episode but yeah like um yeah so i mean they've got plenty to draw off now and i think there's going to be stuff that we just no one's going to be expecting yeah like you know no matter how big of a sci-fi nerd you are and how much information like i mean i'm like you said deus deus ex deus ex yep. yeah do sex um do sex me for me it's kind of like Ghost in the Shell that um yeah, Ghost in the Shell is a hu- is a huge influence of what I'm kind of portraying to see. Even the Scarlett Johansson one. Like, you know, uh Blade Runner. Like all those kind of those futuristic things but not too advanced, you know what I mean? Like, you know they went up in space and no, we're still, we're still, in, we're still on we're Earth, still on and Earth. like there's mega doing... cities, and like even Judge Judge Dredd and stuff like that. All those kind of things is the ideas that are flying. Just so you guys have a reference to what I'm, where those neurons are firing. Yeah, up yeah. I don't mind the 
I mean, I don't think it'll be the case with the silent one. I know I accidentally stuffed up when I said silent at the beginning. You're like, oh yeah, that oh. could work. Because I think I'm fairly sure the character that does the voice in that news trailer is the main character. Or is it? Well, Do yeah, we that's, that's the thing. It may not be. It's just the narrator that's died 20 years ago. Yeah. And they just pre, pre-canned these lines. Oh, yeah, but he's uploaded his mind into the yeah. cloud. Yeah, so he's still with Ooh. us. Um, his name is Strife. <laughs> and he's cried. <laughs> it's just spit off into Final Fantasy. <laughs> um, yeah, Final Fantasy as well. Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, actually, 7, very, 7 is probably a good one there. Kind of sad. Um, I don't know, like, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of interested to see how that character him, himself or herself, depending on how customizable they are, there's could gotta be, being. There's going to be for, for 40 genders at least. Yeah. Easy. Because by 2077, we'll have everything. Oh, including, maybe not. Including your, fa- including your favourite, the Hipachi helicopter. Hipachi <laughs> helicopter, damn strobe. <laughs> Identifier. But no, um, I'm... They'll poke for fun, but no. Like I think, I think there will be a, there will be at least two. They might even chuck in like trans. You know, that you could have a female's body, but I don't know. Who knows? Like, who's the company that's making this? CD Projekt Red, as in the people who did Witcher Three. Yeah. Okay. So the um, best RPG of this generation. In fact, the best game of this generation. Man, everyone's jumping back on that. On Witcher Three. Yeah. As they should. Yeah. But that's beside the point, Matto. What do you? Yeah. Ideas. What else have you got? What else? Yeah. yeah. What, what, what's the, what do you reckon the character's background story will be? Mechanical. Oh. Mechanical. Uh, uh, revenge. It could be one of those. He's little creative. kid. Revenge. Dad, dad was gets killed. A, yeah, dad was killed in the lab or something like that. Producing some kind of uh, super sentience or something that was going to create peace. Uh, higher ups didn't want it. Now you're here to do. Yeah, you're probably just like you know. You're probably kid. You don't even remember what he was doing exactly, but you've just been tossed off to the side. You've grown up on the streets. Become uh, a cop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, th- I think that's the vibe I kind of got. That's that he might be like, a yeah. cop, or like, next or cop. maybe like a PI or something the next like that. Cop. Oh, okay. oh, I wouldn't mind the old PI. Undercover. Sort of idea. PI would be good because then you, you got nothing. Look. Undercover cop. The undercover cop. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kindergarten cop. Maybe. Yeah, you're after. <laughs> you're after vengeance. You got a tumor. Come out. <laughs> but no. Sorry, just as soon yeah. as you said kindergarten cop, wow, I couldn't. I didn't, didn't think that. I could. PI. Could. PI would be a good thing. But yeah, I'm, I reckon you're a kid. I'm going to call him Arnie now. Arnold. A, a traumatized kid is a pretty solid. Solid go-to. You're actually a Terminator. Thing. I don't know. I don't know much about The Witcher. How did he all start? Like, he, was he that was a huge? Born. He was just born and became a badass. Yeah, he became a bit of a badass. Did right. some training. Fair enough. Maybe that's it. Maybe like he was, he was born a Witcher, so he was always going to be that oh, way. Okay. It's just that he's the best. Of all. So maybe your parents but again, genetically but even modified in the case of The Witcher. You. That is also based on books. So yeah, um, you kind of had to work with. Or sorry, the team had to work with what they had to work with. So. Yeah. So maybe the like um, like something tragic's happened to your parents or parent, one of them. So you've been raised. Or well, you're fifteen. You're, you're very lawful, I guess. Maybe who knows? Maybe maybe there are lawful other evils. He's oh. got the the the, the, the grid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chaotic neutral and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, maybe Go maybe you are a cop or a PI, and you're just I don't mind after that's idea. revenging or revengeance. You know, just a bit of Metal Gear in there. The Revengers. You're part of Revengers. Thor's Revenger team. Um, I don't know. It, it's tricky because we know so little. But I think, I don't know. For background, I would I would see something traumatic have, happening to you as a child. Yeah. And hence, like, and things have just gone to shit. I'd be actually interested to see where it goes. Because, like, in terms of, like, our voice character and a few of those different bits we're talking about, uh, spoken about, um... There is actually audio, like so. The the strict rules were very very clear when pe- media people went into the room to go see it. it was the, no video, no nothing, and so like sorry, no. They said no video. We don't want video. Someone's gone fine. I'll record the audio, um, and put it online. Of so course, you, you see, you can, so you can hear the whole thing. <laughs> um, you, you know, you can't see and you don't know what they're doing in menus and all that sort of stuff. And but yeah, the the audio is out there. So <laughs> like we we could probably learn a few little bits and pieces about. It. I'm sure they probably don't give much away story wise. Yeah, but um, I mean, and it does seem like unlike The Witcher, where you kind of go into big open sort of environments mm. and stuff, you still kind of got that from what I can gather. But it's a, it's a city, so every, and everything's a, like really bunched in on itself. Yeah, but I'm so guessing there's a lot of inside stuff to do too. Yeah, there's a lot of indoor stuff. So I reckon the world itself might be a bit smaller because they can't just go here. Here's this massive environment, and they can just kind of 
with a little bit of trick editing just repeat certain little environments and you wouldn't even necessarily notice yeah they kind of have to create like the buildings will have to stick out because if you feel like if it won't take much before you realize you've been in this before whereas if it's just trees blowing in the breeze like it's not as Same it's thing. not as easy yeah. to notice yeah there's you know copy paste yeah not the uh, CD Project Red, you're fantastic. You don't just copy and paste anything. But if you were, we'd know. <laughs> <laughs> we're watching. Um, how about how? So how it's going to play? So we've obviously touched on little bits and pieces of it, but and we know it's first person. What do we kind of see it looking like? Maybe how we we would play it personally. Like I mean, when you play games like this, are you kind of all guns blazing? Are you Will it be like a good bad meter? Oh, the, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like they're they're not as popular these days. Infamous might have been oh, one of the last to, cares. to really Go do it. it. But at the same time, if it works, it works. Notoriety or something. Yeah, notoriety. Yeah, um, that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, like, how do you typically play games like this? Have either of you, did either of you play Deus Ex, no. the old ones, or Mankind Divided, Human Revolution? No, mm. I have it on. Thanks to PlayStation Plus. But. Oh, yeah, that's right. They gave it away for free. Um, like those, and from what I can gather of what I've heard about Cyberpunk so far is that it's kind of that same sort of choice. Like, you got to get here. It's up to you how you want to get there. Yeah. Um, and you can go in all guns blazing or you can try and stealth your way through or a combination of both or um, mm. maybe you don't even do... Like, maybe you've got... Uh, super proficient skills in I don't know negotiation or a like, conversation you can just talk your way straight to where it is you need to go and then you go in and just stab the guy in the face <laughs> come on right in the face yeah I mean if it's RPG then there's definitely going to be that those different skill sets then isn't there there's going to be like you know your charisma your wisdom your intelligence yeah. like all that in, in this I don't know maybe it's like your tech savvy your uh, you know your science your biology Like I've always been so guns. big on like stealthing I try and stealth as far as I can. Really? You're and a if I get busted, oh, then it's on for young and old. I kill everyone. Not only do I kill everyone in that room, but I then go back and kill all the others that I stealth past because I'm like... Jeez. Like, it's... it's as like, to the average, mate. It's, it's one way or the other. So I either get through completely unnoticed, or if I stuff up and I get noticed, I promptly deal with those who notice me, guy and like then sadistically go back and kill everyone else. Walks in with an AK and like Hitman, like stuffing the game, like but I don't kill anybody, that, and then, <laughs> oh no, it's over. <laughs> Sorry, don't guys. worry, I win the mission. <laughs> Everyone's dead. It's fine. <laughs> don't worry. That was just George. He was just here today. He wasn't even supposed to be. He was just here <laughs> having a coffee. Bond but I, I fucked up stealthing. Sorry, so George. he's not sneaky enough, so die. <laughs> You couldn't lockpick this door, so you got daddy oh, daughter well. day. He was oh just, no, he was I just killed her daughter. His daughter too. No, his daughter was just in the playroom. She's was come his, out. It was his first day. Of work. His first day's new job. Yep. Stop. Stop. He's already dead. Oh, God, Paul, Paul's <laughs> a savage. All because you couldn't get past and stealth. Poor George. <laughs> well, how do the two of you typically play these sorts? Of I'm games? a toe-to-toe -to -toe brawler, kind of guns blazing dude. Um, so you're even worse. I'm a sniper because <laughs> you don't even try to save them. Well, then again, I had the opportunity to not go back, but I'm not going to kill people that don't need to be killed. But if they're shooting at me, oh, that's what I mean. Like I'll go kill all the ones that have got their guns. I just kill everyone. Yeah, half the NPCs that you can't shoot, you shoot them through the head and it just goes straight through. And like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Video games. Cybernetics. Cybernetics. I don't know. So you're a sniper. You, you I'm a sniper. Say. I like that. Oi. Oi, I'm, oi, a, oi, I'm oi. a sneaky sniper. Suppose I did a lot more of that in Fallout Four. Oh yeah. I changed, I changed my game style to being a lot more like using rifles and stuff like instead of like my typical walk up with a shotgun and playing through because it was just and using yeah, bats and that. yeah using bats a lot that's, that's the interesting one for Fallout games because bats is there because Bethesda couldn't get their shooting mechanics right they, they, like they kind of owned that they're like we couldn't get the first person shooting right so we created bats so they kind of made it then this RPG sort of system but it means that you don't have to worry about you know being accurate like you the player being accurate but then it all falling over because their systems are shit. They've created a system that meant that you didn't like it. Yeah. It masked the other issues. But there's a and it worked. You're masking issues. Except they're bugs. Lots and lots of bugs. Yeah, and they're fine with that. Yeah, it's funny fine. that people expect that. Yeah. 
It's been funny. I'm yeah, like... awesome speeches from Todd Howard in E3 conferences <laughs> about how, yeah, we have bugs. That's why we're going to have a break it early access test. Yeah, whatever it is for it Fallout 76. Hmm. Would you reckon a sniper play would be viable in this? I mean, same when you're in a city? Like... Nah, it doesn't... I wouldn't say it working mm. too well. Well, if you're indoors a lot, then... But still, you. But that like might be cool though, because maybe it allows you to kind of go horses for courses. Like if it's if it's someone that's out there in the open, say they're in a park or something like that. Yeah. Then you or, could easily go that style. Or, or you could just walk in and it's just they don't provoke. You don't provoke until you pull out the gun or something. Yeah. Or you just go around the sneaky syringe and just poke them. <laughs> sneaky <laughs> syringe. <and> poke. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we're back to stabbing him in the face. <laughs> hey. hey. <sighs> With I don't like, the I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna think like if we had if we had that footage, we could design this thing. But I don't know. Like, but that's why how I, I want to. How I, I want this As soon as game. we see a bit of footage, we kind of. How know, I want the game? Like I want, I want. If they do do, if there is three characters that you can swap between, which would be phenomenal. Uh, I would love my brawler, my stealther, and my like, like my tech mage or whatever. Like Mando, that'd be yeah. cool sort of thing. Yeah, like you know, just. Yeah, I, I if you know if the combat system is punchy punchy, like Batman is always the go-to for things like that. That was pretty phenomenal. Um, obviously, even um, what's that game? Mass Effect. Like you oh, know, if you if that, you're an engineer or whatever like that, like you know you can do all that crazy cool stuff. Drop your turrets. Yeah. yeah. Commando I mean, like like Borderlands. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. See Borderlands as well. That's um. Give me Borderlands mm. Three. <laughs> but no, like, yeah, I would like, I would like a system that you could play. You could play three main styles, maybe four main styles of gameplay. Really, that'd be nice. Um, I'd like the environment to have a role in that. Like, if you're stealthy, like, you know, I'd like cool, like, little vents that you could crawl through. Or, oh yeah. You know, like shoot that, and the steam comes through. It gives you a chance to run. But if you're like a brawler, like, you know, be able to punch somebody into like a crate and that breaks and bonus damage. Or pick up objects. Yeah, pick, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like a bar fighter, yeah. yeah. D&D skills coming into handy now. Um, yeah, things like that though. Like, I mean, with RPGs, it's nice to be able to like turn around, say all three of us have played it, and every one of our experiences are completely different. Yeah. Because it's just the way we played it. Well, yeah. But we know what mine's gonna be like. Yeah. I tried. I failed. I shot him. Don't George. Shoot him again. <laughs> <laughs> Watch as his daughter cries. <laughs> I drew you a picture. I don't know. Like, is this this is the game with the trailer? Like, I'm trying to think. It is the trailer where like the bullet hits and you know, it goes like. Oh, there's yeah, there's and the, the girl like, yeah. and yeah, it's, the, yeah. it's all shattering off her, which was still a weird trailer, but that's like seven years old. What was this? Like, yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, that looks phenomenal. Yeah. So, like, if I'm seeing stuff like that, like, I want, like... I don't like it when games, like, kind of, like, lock you out of an area, like... Oh, yeah. Like, oh, you doing, can't go here yet. Yeah, uh, like, I would like it if it was just, like, you can go anywhere from the beginning. You're going to get killed if you go over there, though. Well, that's what... That was what they did with The Witcher. So, yeah. it'll probably be the same here. Like, go anywhere in the city, but there's going to be tough patches. Yeah. Like, like I'd luck. love, like, you know, there's just, like, a rogue cyborg-y place, and, like, they're all mental... And like you walk in and they just demolish you. But if you do get through them, you get access to high gear. <laughs> Early game. Yeah. Like yeah. I like that pay and play, you know, like oh, whatever. Pay to play? No, you no. know, like the you know like Oh the payoff. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Like you know, bribes hey, always work. Payoffs are good. Hey, if you if you hey, if you're yes. able to like sneak through or if you're able to do this, you're gonna get some really great gear. But one slip up and you're almost instantly dead. Like you're gonna regret it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the risk reward thing. Yeah, risk reward. There we go. Matto, any other any other ideas at all? Not that I can think of. Anything else that we've not really touched on overall, though? We've kind of spoken on really the big ones: story and the side way we missions. Play. Better be everywhere. Oh, they will be. Don't like worry. I know I have, I've heard that the, the Witcher three doesn't better than billions anyone. of them. Uh, and then the great thing about the Witcher's ones, like even the side quests linked into the main story too like they, they weren't the oh I need you to go and collect five yeah. things for me and there was literally one of those in The Witcher 3 it was like hey I lost my wait well, you played The Witcher 3 didn't you yeah. my frying pans or my pots or whatever and then it turned <laughs> out that oh, that was really important that was still. oh that was great that fry pan one oh, um, fantastic. like you thought oh 
what? Like they've they've stuffed up. They've they've done one of those shitty fetch yeah. quests, and then it turned out it was way better. <laughs> well, I, went, to, I went. I went to the woods. Go yeah. to the woods. Get this, and then you see this massive lesion coming out. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> What have oh, I done? No. I was just going for pots. You pricks. I'm going to have to play this now. God damn it. I didn't. I didn't want to do it. You've got to. But I yeah. would love. It is the best this game is, of this, this generation. This is the dumbest thing I'm going to say on this this episode. Oh, good. Just this episode. So, Gwen. I never played Gwen. But I would love for them to throw in, like, uh, Easter eggs about Gwen. Oh, there'll be Gwen. Like, oh, you know, there'll, 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 there'll be Witcher. They, they love that sort of stuff. Like, you know, like you're just sitting there, like you open up a screen, and like a kid's like an iPad or something like that, and he's like playing, playing, playing Gwen. Gwen, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you, but I do hope they add a mini game to it. You'll hear music from. Oh yeah, no, I reckon they'll add mini games for sure. Yeah, there will be one. They'll try and get something going just like Gwen. Anything. Yeah, like, and it's like, oh, we can't dice. do it. Then fine, go play Gwen again. Street dice or like little robot battle of things. Oh, hollow like hollow. Yeah! And then it'll spin yeah, off into a side game like what went to. Yeah, that's now it. actually like a really would, popular card game. I would really love something like that to happen to them again. You did really well with that, guys. I know one of you is at least watching this and taking down the all entire the team is actually notes. taking notes, so. Yeah. But yeah. Just credit us, alright? But by what I mean, asked. by like. And early copies. Uh, Ghost in the Shell and all that stuff is. Like, if you watch that animation, like, they're on a boat and everything's moving in the background. There's just oh, always, there's always something happening. And I know that they perfected it in The Witcher that, you know, there's always something happening within. The Every end. 30 seconds was their design. Yeah. For and I know, like, you know, they, they're going to they're gonna nail that again. But I would just love to see, like, these vivid environments. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like uh, Blade Runner where, you know, there's just, like noodle cafes everywhere and like yeah. there's just weird people walking around looking strange and you're just like I wish I knew every one of these people's stories but right now I just want some I just want to there. shoot what do you say Greg in George. the face George George, George. George. can't even remember his name George Collins that's, how much, Sorry, that's how much you don't care about Paul George <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then when, you, then when you're done making the game oh, what a car. The Witcher 4 starring Siri make it happen CD Projekt what starring Siri, Siri. well it was one of the characters in the third one ah the, the story of uh, Geralt is over. Alexa he's not dead, he's just, it's over. Siri. So he's having a rest, he's retiring. Yeah. And they, they announced that before the game came out, so it was nothing crazy. I didn't even play one. <laughs> I didn't even play the Witcher 1 and 2, no, I just played either. 3 I played, and was like, oh my god, I, I need to... I don't have to play the second one. Well, you can play the second one. You don't have to play the first one. You don't have to play the first one, because it gets amnesia in the second one, just so you forget about the oh, first one. sweet. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Um, so I think that pr pretty much wraps it up then. So yeah. we have designed Cyberpunk 2077. This kind is exactly, exactly how the game is going to be when it comes we, we, out. We've just kind of talked about what we want to see. This is exactly <laughs> how the game is going to play out. <laughs> um, we get to drive a car. The proof will be in the pudding when the game comes out on November 21st, 2019. Really? No, I just made the date oh. up. It'll, that'll be the case. Let's be real. Um, <laughs> I, I, I hope I nailed it. If if someone write this down, you on the other end of the camera there, and no, um, I'm gonna write it down. I'm gonna and when, it. like when it comes out on November twenty second, twenty nineteen, go away. Um, because I said twenty first. So wait, the twenty November twenty November twenty first, twenty nineteen. Uh, what I don't even know what day of the week that is. The Thursday. Of the, let's go to the Thursday. I'm of gonna say week. Tuesday. November. Oh man, it's a Thursday. I reckon I've nailed it. <laughs> it's... I hope they just Come on and see the project. push it out a week later. To we were going to put 20... it on the 21st, but we've decided that Paul had a tip right here, so the 28th is when it's going. <laughs> and he heard, he heard so our friend George. Yeah. We, we need to give George some time with his daughter before you come through and bulldoze him. Um, so that concludes that episode. We have designed Cyberpunk 27. The perfect game. This is exactly how it's going to play out. Exactly. To it's going to be a game of the year. George is going to be dead. Children will be crying. It'll be great. It'll be one of those games to get the season pass for straight away. Yeah. Um, so if you enjoyed this, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Where are they, Matto? And there. And there. I think um, the bell is about And there's, there's the, the notification bell. Hit that so you're alerted to every video when it goes up. That includes like game review, more episodes of Patch, uh, Game of School, The Insider, Player 2 Plays, more stuff that I've probably forgot. Um, 
Make sure to visit the website, player2.net.au, where you'll find reviews, previews, opinion pieces, news features, the Player 2 Writer's Draft, and heaps more. There's some awesome stuff there, so please make sure to go and check it out. One of these days, I want you to look directly at the camera and just do it. Just let go. Oh, okay. I do. Here's the following thing. I Instead do. of you going like, oh, they're looking at me. <laughs> I, do that. I do that every episode of the inside, though. I have to look at the camera. It's me on my own. So. And it's um, here. And <laughs> Don't look at me. You've just spent the last ten and a half minutes. Um, Patreon, patreon.com slash player2au. You consider kicking a few dollars at the lower tiers. You'll get early access to episodes such as this. Whatever this was. This was something. Um, and, and monthly exclusives and the ability to join us in the uh, Player 2 podcast each month should you pledge high enough. Taco Storks. Tacos Talks. Talks. <laughs> Act. <laughs> Matto underscore Phil. Paul James P2. The website, Player 2 AU. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next month. Hashtag Prank for George. <laughs> Prank for George. <laughs>